Hello to all my friends on Facebook, Google+, and the readers of my website. Um, it's nice to see you again. It's been about, uh, oh, I don't know, 12, 16 hours since I updated last uh, via video, and uh, about 36 hours since I ate last. Um, the writing on the project is coming along very well. I'm nearly done with the writing portion of it. Also done some editing. Uh, we're getting very close to the point of actually doing the layout and typeset and all that stuff, so I'm fairly confident I should have a product out today. Uh, if not today, it will be uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm working feverishly, to, um, and really, it's amazing what uh, what hunger can do to focus you on, on a project that will end the hunger. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty well, though. Got a lot of energy. Uh, a little bit shaky, which is weird. Um, actually not surprising I fasted before and I should have expected this it's a little bit difficult to maintain focus in the moment occasionally uh, because of uh, you know just not having food but uh, I wanted to not talk so much about the hunger because that's not the point uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, product that I'm coming up with it's the working title is the minimalist guide to doing great things starting now I'm toying with changing it to the, the incredibly simple guide to doing great things starting now, uh, mainly to avoid the label of minimalist. Um, there are people who identify themselves as being minimalist and people who say, well, I can never be minimalist, or those minimalist people are wacko. And um, while I personally would say that I live a minimalist lifestyle, I tend to avoid labels wherever possible. Um, I think they put you in a box too easily. So this is possibly going to be the incredibly simple guide to doing great things starting now. And uh, just to give you a quick um, sort of preview, this is a, a short list of things that this guide will do for you uh, that I wrote into the introduction. Uh, this guide will walk you through finding and honing your vision, getting the knowledge you need to quickly plan for success, set bold but reachable milestones, determining your best course to achieve them, finding your minimum starting requirements. I think that any any uh, venture has a, a bare minimum set of things you need to do to get going, but we tend to bloat that list and that can make it overwhelming to get started. Uh, take small effective daily actions without fail and staying on track for the long term. So this is, it seems pretty ambitious, but actually when you break these things down into their, uh, their most basic minimalistic ideas, uh, it's actually not that difficult to do great things. Like I said in the last video, uh, great things are really just done through small actions, and small actions turn out to be very easy to take once you overcome the fear of of the overwhelming, uh, all those things that you need to do to get from A to B. If you think about the big picture and all the details that add up to make that big picture, it can be overwhelming. But if you focus on today, if you focus on this week, uh, if you focus on the next 30 seconds, and that's actually one thing I touch on in, in, in the guide, is just do 30 seconds worth of work. All you, and, and that's all you have to do. 30 seconds, maybe five minutes, you know, whatever. And that will break through the barrier of procrastination. It will push you through uh, that initial anxiety of doing something because that is such a powerful force. Um, against our progress. But if you can break through that for even just 30 seconds, it becomes easier to do five minutes and then 30 minutes. And then the next thing you know, you spent two or three hours working on, on something and you're making real progress. Sorry, text message from my wife. Um, so anyway, I'll wrap this up. Um, just want to let you know that I am doing well. Progress is, is uh, going quickly. Um, you can probably tell that I'm getting a little bit shaky here, but I uh, just wanted to say hi, and uh, thank you so much for all the very encouraging comments, and, and um, you know, I am being safe, so don't worry about that, and, uh, you know, it's only 36 hours with no food. There are people who go much longer than that, so there's a happy thought to end on. I love you all. Bye.